Hi guys, I'm Amshi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Board exams are over. Guys, I'm so happy. I'm so relaxed. And I finally decided to make a video that you guys have been asking me to make for so, so long. Which is advice for commerce students in 11th and 12th. And how to study in 11th and 12th. And all of the questions that you guys asked me. I have the questions here. Tips for 12th graders, how to study at the end, beginning, how much time did you give to each subject and also how did you divide e your day studying each subject like you studied every subject in a day. Not at all, I did not study every subject every single day. I did do accountancy most days. So I would go to tuition and my tuition teacher would do, for example, the first 15 illustrations and she would expect us to do the first 15 back questions. Here, Goyal, the illustrations are very similar to the back questions. I would do that. I did that pretty much throughout the year. And other than that, I studied individual chapters for other subjects, eco, BST and all. When we were either done with that chapter or we had a test coming or something like that, or I had an assignment, like my eco teacher would make us write notes in our notebook for every single chapter. And then we also had to do questions for Indian eco. And that's when I would end up studying those subjects. By the way, if you don't know, my subjects were accountancy, economics, business studies, English and psychology. Psychology was my fifth subject. How did you manage the fear of missing out of making memories while studying in 12th? Because although I spend a lot of time trying to academically validate myself, I'm always afraid that I'm not making enough memories. Okay, honestly, I never felt this way because a lot of times I would voluntarily opt out of going out with friends or hanging out with people not because i was at home studying all the time but because i just really value my personal space and alone time but i would say don't just go out and do things because you think you're not making enough memory go out hang out with your friends if you have time and you're not stressed out it's not like this is the end of your life it's not like you'll never meet your friends again it's not like you'll never be able to have FUD again. Also learn to prioritize your time because there will be times throughout the year when you know you have to do a lot of studying because maybe you have exams coming up but there will be other times when you're a lot more relaxed so use that time. Learn to detach yourself from the expectations that people have of you from the things that you should be doing or have to do and choose the path that is best for you that makes you feel the best whether that's taking time out for yourself whether that's studying whether that's going out with friends at any given point in time. Don't let other people impose on you what they think you should be doing. Okay, do we need offline coaching or online is sufficient for 11th Commerce? And what are some YouTube channels you recommend for 11th? Okay, so I had in-person tuition for accountancy in 11th and 12th. I actually joined tuitions during the half yearlies of 11th grade, like before the half yearlies of 11th grade, because till then I had like not studied at all. I had barely listened in class. I had barely made any efforts to do anything. It's also, I barely went to school. Like my attendance in 11th and 12th was less than 50%. So yeah, I was a little bit confused. So that's when I took tuitions and that really helped me out. I would say I enjoy offline tuitions. You're able to connect with the teacher. You're able to ask your doubts and also you can write practice practice papers and have an actual teacher check them which is very very valuable to know if you're making any errors in not only writing answers but also presenting answers in the way you write. I think for some people offline coaching is better if they don't like that face-to-face -face interaction and also if you want youtube channels obviously Rajat Tharoda and Sunil Panda. Actually I'm gonna start my 11th next month can you please give me advice on how to stay calm during exams because I get anxious all the time during my exams. Like I know this sounds like a lot of faff but actually no exam matters that much. Like especially if you're in 11th right now, don't worry that much at least for school exams. Like I, I can tell you I barely studied in 11th, you know, and I didn't get great marks in 11th. Also don't focus on the outcome of the exam. When you're writing answers, focus on what you're doing in that given moment and not on what will this result in, how many marks will I get in this question, that sort of stuff. Don't think about that. Make yourself very like tunnel visioned when you're in a paper. Just focus on the paper, focus on what you're writing and completely shut your thoughts. I know this might seem hard, but try to incorporate this into your life in general too and then you'll be able to apply this to exam situations. Anytime you're having negative, anxious thoughts, try to block them out from your awareness. Hi, Avashi. So I've decided to take commerce with maths as I find it very interesting, but I'm having second thoughts as all my friends are taking science and I feel like I'll be alone if I choose commerce. Firstly, what your friends are doing and what people around you are doing should never be the basis for the decisions you make for your life. And secondly, whatever stream you take, you will end up making friends. It'll take you a day, a week or a month, but you will make friends. 
and also if you're in the same school then you can still go meet your friends in lunch in breaks whatever i personally changed schools after 10th grade so i knew nobody in my new school except one person who coincidentally was in my class in 10th in that old school and ended up shifting at the same time as me to this new school same class same stream that was the craziest thing that happened in my life because it was so random even that person like we were just acquaintances you know and now of course we're close friends try to talk to people try to make normal conversation and over time you will make friends or at least you will have someone to talk to even if you're not friends friends it is literally so hot and i'm filming with the fan off so you guys can hear me and i have a few more questions is it worth it I don't know what you mean by worth it. You'll have to choose a stream anyways. I think you should take commerce if you want to pursue a career in commerce related fields. A or B, you are interested in the subjects. Little bit of inclination towards economics. You'd be interested in learning things like that. Tips on how to study each subject. Accountancy, as I said, do lots of practice. Read the illustrations, that's very important because once you read the illustrations, you you get what you're supposed to do in these questions and then when you practice questions you're able to apply those concepts there economics is very understanding based you need to get into the topic and know what's going on you try to make the diagrams like the demand supply and everything you try to make those and try to understand what is going on and then there's also some memorization aspect not as much in 11th with micro and statistics but there is a lot of memorization in indian eco in 12th and indian eco also you don't need to memorize memorize as such what you can do is just read the topics again and again and again so i remember i studied the chapters for the first time during half yearlies then pre board 1 then pre board 2 then once before exams like boards and then one right before boards so when you do this like four five times even just read the chapter you end up naturally memorizing everything i also talk more about memorization tips and study tips in my course so do go check it out it is linked in the description you also get a lot of free resources as a free 60 day study plan with notion the habit tracker and you also get to join our co community where we're always helping out each other people are always asking doubts helping other people it's a very nice space to be in and i'm very glad that i could have created something like this for all of us So yes, link in description. This is studies, also a lot of memorization. For English throughout the year, all I did was watch like those videos on YouTube. A YouTube channel I would really, really recommend is Grand Acad. I found out about it literally towards the end, like a week before my English board exam, and I was like, I wish I had this all year long. It is such a good channel. Even Students Heaven is good, which is what I was using all year long. They have these really nice animated videos. And then towards the end, before all of my exams, half yearly, pre board, and board, I had all in one. So I would read through the questions and answers. They had an NCERT folder and lots of previous year questions along with their answers. So I would just read through them and underline the important keywords and points. Is not making a good decision. By the way, it's a very time consuming thing. Yes, it is very time consuming. I did not make notes all year long. I think I made notes in the beginning for psychology or something, but. For the most part I didn't make notes notes like whenever you guys saw me writing stuff it's because I was memorizing and then writing right there and then it was not they were not notes I don't have complete notes for any subject is 11th class accounting hard how do I manage it story time I cried once if I did my accounting teacher in 11th grade because i could not figure anything out because as i said i was not paying attention i was not doing anything for half the year friend keeps reminding me of this embarrassing moment and the teacher was like oh but it's okay it's not that hard you'll figure it out were you able to complete your accountancy paper or you had to leave some questions yes i was able to complete my accounts paper like the board exam i would say very it was not lengthy and it was actually pretty easy like i'm sure lots of people would get 100 on it i made some stupid mistake it was okay like let's see what i get I'm not that bothered about it. This is a general question because when we get to tenth, everyone just expects us to have an idea about our future career. So how do you know that what you're choosing is right for you or something you actually want to do for the rest of your life? Firstly, don't think about the future future so much. Like, decide a stream on the basis of the subjects you like and also the career you would like to pursue. Don't think about the outcomes of that career and how successful you will be. There is so much information on the internet. You can learn so much about 
what different people are doing in their lives and what you could also do. So on the basis of that, make a wise decision about what you want to pursue. And it's not like you can only be successful in one thing or one stream or one line of job. I was watching Varun Maya's Masterclass and Masters Union. It's on YouTube. Really good video. Go check it out. It's on his channel. And he was talking about how you should see your career not as a job but as a set of projects not in you know a world a job market an economy where the stream you take or the college you go to or the course you pursue will limit the scope of your career unless it's like you want to become a doctor so you have to do mbbs everything else still leaves a lot of opportunities open we really need tuitions for economics in 11th grade i did not have tuitions for economics in 11th grade or 12th grade except in the last month because basically i just wanted to do practice papers and have a teacher check them to tell me if I'm actually writing the right thing. So I don't think you need tuition for 11th grade or 12th grade even if you do if you understand the concepts and are able to apply the concepts. I would suggest probably try to figure it out using a YouTube channel or something sure, and then contemplate about actually reaching out to a tuition teacher. Hi Avishi B, I'm going to take commerce in 11th. What is your view about 11th grade syllabus? How can we manage studies along with other programs in school? So as I've said before, 11th grade commerce, I don't think it's that hard. I don't even think 12th grade commerce is that hard. Honestly, once you figure it out, it's super, super easy and logical. About programs in school, I think it's a great time to take up different activities and expand your horizon in 11th grade. Literally get into every opportunity you get. Try to do as much as you can without burning yourself out because that's what I did. I absolutely burned myself out in 11th grade. I got into so many activities. I was doing comparing for so many events. I had competitions. I was just trying to do way too much. Understand what your limits are and don't try to overextend yourself too much. How to manage burnout? out? The next question. Sleep. Sleep 10 hours a day. Take a break from school and sleep a lot and watch Netflix and eat good food and just have a full self-care relaxation day because you deserve it. And honestly, I'm telling you that one day break you take will give you the energy and the recovery to last like a month. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with your friends who have commerce in 11th and 12th. This will really help them out. Tell me in the comments your study tips for people who have commerce in 11th and 12th so we can all help each other out. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Avashi Bish and Avashi's Coffee Shop. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.